in short we'll understand the nervous system your entire nervous system is formed out of the basic structure you know called as neurons so neurons we have different types of neurons they are interconnected when these neurons pass the message that helps you in coordinating things to the outside world when you talk about your nervous system it is basically divided into two main one which is located in the center that central nervous system your brain and spinal cord and the rest is the peripheral nervous system when you talk about central nervous system usme kya hai brain hai aur aapka spinal cord hai brain ko skull ke andar rakha gaya hai spinal cord ko vertebral column ke andar rakha gaya and when you talk about message when there is an external stimulus आपको चटका लगा राइट इट्स एक्सटर्नल तो कौन लाता है वो मैसेज वो आपका पेरिफरल नर्वस सिस्टम लेके आता है वो मैसेज इन टू द ब्रेन एंड उस हिसाब से आप रिस्पॉन्ड करते हो छट से हाथ को छुड़ाना सो सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम का कोऑर्डिनेशन पेरिफरल नर्वस के थ्रू होता है सो ऑल द ऑर्गन इन साइड योर बॉडी दे आर कॉर्डिनेटिंग विद पेरिफरल नर्वस सिस्टम एंड देन इट इज गोइंग टू द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम so you know your brain is located inside the skull spinal cord is located inside the vertebral column right so we'll be doing this more in detail so when you talk about a neuron you have to understand the basic structure of a neuron as it is the basic structure of your nervous system it's a cell body the first is the most important part that's a cell body jiske andar ek nucleus hota hai and it's coordinating information this is a cell body it has got nissel granule right it's just a revision of what you have already done and it's also called as cyton and cyton se nikalti hai unko bolte hain hum dendrites dendrites kya karti hai so, chote se projections hote hain they receive messages and these messages received from the synapse now one dendron is connected to the next this is the external projections from the cyton that's the dendron jab ek dendron dusre dendron se ya tilo dendron se juda hota hai ek neuron dusre neuron se juda hai us area ko if you see this very clearly aapko dikh raha hai there is two connection okay two neurons are connected but there is a gap that gap is called as synapse and specific area is synaptic cleft there is nothing but chemical is released in this synaptic cleft that helps in information transfer ab this is axon axon ke upar ek covering hota hai jo ki message transfer karne ke liye bahut important hai is covering ko bolte hain myelin sheet if you remember glial sheet glial cells ke bare mein humne padha tha usme se oligodendrocytes used to cover it right and schwann cell सो एक्जन के ऊपर जो कवरिंग है दैट कवरिंग इज कॉल्ड एज माइलेंट शीट कवरिंग एंड इन बिटवीन ऑल द माइलेंट शीट देर इज अ गैप आप देखोगे हर एक माइलेंट शीट के बीच में एक गैप है जिसको हम बोलते हैं नॉट ऑफ रन वेयर एंड वी हैव लर्न एक नॉट से दूसरे नॉट तक इम्पल्स कैसे ट्रांसफर होता है थ्रू सेल्टेटरी मूवमेंट इन अ साइनैप्स how the message is passed there are some chemicals that's called as neurotransmitters that is been released and they are forwarded to the next nerve through the gates they are present in the synapse now you all would be on page number 191 sab log 191 open karenge you find ओके दर इज़ वन टॉपिक इन वन नाइन्टी क्यूरियासिटी बॉक्स वो हम करेंगे बट राइट नाउ वील सी ह्यूमन ब्रेन इन डिटेल लिटिल इन डिटेल पेज वन नाइन्टी वन इट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट द ह्यूमन ब्रेन वेन यू सी द स्ट्रक्चर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू कैन सी द ब्रेन एंड द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड राइट दिस इज योर सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम अब ब्रेन को अगर ध्यान से देखोगे दो स्ट्रक्चर है लेफ्ट एंड राइट हेमिसफेयर है एंड व्हेन यू स्टडी ऑल द एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ द ब्रेन पॉज फॉर अ मिनट व्हेन यू स्टडी एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन इट्स कॉल्ड एस एनसेफलोलॉजी 
science about life biology like that study of brain it's called as encephalology now this brain is divided into four brain and mid brain and hind brain four brain means jo samne ka hissa hai mid brain jo bilkul andar hai and hind brain jo nichla hissa hai downstairs okay now when you're going to see this it will be more clear four brain mid brain and hind brain this is the sagittal section this diagram is more clear when you see page 192 sagittal section is ke andar you can see the membrane that is protecting your brain your brain is protected by meninges so sabse upar ka hai dura matter then you have arachnoid matter and after arachnoid it is the pia matter arachnoid aur pia ke beech mein you have pia matter you have a fluid called as csf extracellular fluid secreted by choroid plexus correct plexus will be taught to you don't worry about it so cerebrospinal fluid is nothing but the fluid that helps in providing support protection and acts as a shock absorber into the brain cell and there is constant pressure that is always maintained by the cerebrospinal fluid it also helps in exchange of nutrients and helps the brain from not drying out now we go to that page okay now we'll just learn how to draw the structure of human brain that is the sagittal section on page number 192 so it will be easy for you to just go through this uh, video so that you can understand how to structure it so you're going to draw the sagittal section of brain if you have done no problem you're going to redo it for understanding the things every part more clearly you have to redo it this is a yellow band you call it as corpus callosum that is connecting your left side with your right side of the brain and you have the pituitary gland drawn right now pons viruli and medulla oblongata that is extending down forming your spinal cord This is a very important structure which is mentioned over here this is this extension okay you call that extension pineal gland pineal gland glands ka hum padhenge to aur achhi tarah yaad rahega aapko just remember This is just like a tree. When you are drawing this, you are trying to draw the cerebellum part. Cerebellum. Cerebellum is basically the smallest part of your brain, but then it is the second largest part of the brain. है तो वो smallest, but the second largest. क्योंकि ये बहुत ही important role play करता है आपकी body में. आपके बैलेंसिंग से रिलेटेड आपके यू नो पेरिस्टाल्टिक मूवमेंट से रिलेटेड वेन यू टॉक अबाउट द बैलेंसिंग वेल यू आर मूविंग चलते चलते गिरते हो सो इट इज़ ऑल रिलेटेड विथ योर सेरिबलम द बिगर वन वॉज सेरिब्रम जो सबसे बड़ा आउटर स्ट्रक्चर बनाया था ये वाला दिस स्ट्रक्चर वॉज सेरिब्रम but now what they have done it is the cerebellum so tree like structure has been made tree is nothing but arbor vitae 
gray matter shows the tree like pattern this is the intermixing of gray and white matter नाउ अब जब सैरी व्रम बना रहे हैं तो थोड़े से कर्व्स होंगे ओके दीज कर्व्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज जितने ज़्यादा कर्व होंगे उतना ज़्यादा इंटेलिजेंस होगा दिस इज हाउ इट इज बीन मार्क्ड सो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट दिस कर्व्स ग्रूव्स जिसे बोलते हैं फोल्ड्स जिसे बोलते हैं और वी कैन सिंपली यूज द वर्ड जो उठे हुए हैं सो यू के नॉट फोगेट दिस वेन यू सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ब्रेन ऑल्सो जो रेस्ट एरिया है दिस रेस्ट एरिया इट्स कॉल्ड एस गायरी एंड जो डिप्रेशन है उसको हम बोलेंगे सल्कस वट यू कॉल इट सल्कस You don't have to be that artistic. You can draw it in any curve form. Okay, it's not that. आगे का आप बना सकते हो easily. I don't think so. You need to watch more. This is sufficient for you to understand. लेकिन अब एक एक general सी बात है अगर आप dog का अगर brain देखोगे तो dog के brain में ये जो curves दिख रहे हैं ना वो कम होंगे compared to human brain because humans are more intelligent than certain animals rest you can draw don't forget we have three main parts of human brain fore brain mid brain hind brain so fore brain has again two section jiske andar olfactory lobes bhi aata hai jo ki hamare cranial ka bhag hi hai right 